Hi, I'm Mark McClellan, Stewardship Coordinator with the Georgia Forestry Commission, and welcome to another episode of our virtual field day series. In today's episode, we're going to discuss longleaf pine establishment. Longleaf pines have become a cultural icon here in the South. Landowners plant longleaf due to their hardiness, their timber potential, and their ecosystem services. Longleaf pine have become a major conservation priority. To tell us more about longleaf pine establishment, we have invited Amanda Hambrick, one of our foresters from Region 5, to discuss site prep, proper planting techniques, and maintenance of longleaf pine. Like Mark said, we are here today to discuss proper practices for longleaf establishment. There are a few things I want to mention first. Longleaf does very well on numerous soil types, but only on soils that are well drained as they do not tolerate frequent flooding. Another thing to remember is you need to be able to control your woody and herbaceous vegetation as longleaf does not compete well with other plants. Any competition for water, sunlight, or nutrients will affect the seedling's survival chance and stunt its initial growth. Now, let's take a walk and go look at a site that's prepared to be planted. As you can see, this site has already been prepped. Site prep usually involves any combination of herbicide, mechanical, or prescribed burning. This site in particular only used herbicide and prescribed burning. The herbicide used should be based on the vegetation present and the timing of the application. Following this application with a prescribed burn will help clear the dead vegetation and facilitate easier planting. Now, back to Mark for more about seed quality. Before making this type of investment, it is important to plant quality seedlings. So first things first, choose a reputable grower. I even recommend making a site visit to the nursery. Try to establish a relationship with the grower and discuss your plan to establish the stand. So let's talk about ordering. It is important to know your land management goals and the number of acres you intend to plant before you order your seedlings. This will help indicate the number of seedlings you plant per acre. And I always recommend to order no more seedlings than you can plant in four to five days out. Transportation is another thing to consider. I recommend transporting long leaves in a closed trailer. If you don't have access to a closed trailer, make sure you cover it with a tarp. Wind can quickly dry out these seedlings. Proper storage is another important concept to consider as well. Some of the worst mistakes landowners can make is letting the trees dry out before planting. Keep the seedlings in the original container, store in a cool, dry place, and make sure they are out of direct sunlight and avoid any wind exposure. At the planting site, be sure to inspect all seedlings. I recommend culling or throwing out any trees that are poor quality. Each plug should have a quarter inch single stem root collar. Each should have a healthy dark green six to 10 inch needles. No obvious signs of pest. Adequate moisture in the plugs, not too dry, not saturated. No signs of mildew or rot. Firm root ball, a visible white tip roots, and no excessive girdling roots. Now back to Amanda to discuss planting techniques. Proper planting depth is crucial. When planting, do not plant too deep or too shallow. The proper planting depth will be where the bud is slightly above the ground and never buried. A recommended position for the bud is approximately two inches above the soil surface, leaving one and a half inches of the plug exposed above the soil surface. Good compaction is also crucial as this eliminates any air pockets around the seedling roots. Although seed quality has improved in recent years, the survivability depends largely on proper site prep and planting. A high quality planting job will help to ensure that what you plant today will be a stand that you manage tomorrow. Thanks again, Amanda, for showing us more about establishing a longleaf pine stand. 
And I would also like to thank Meeks Nursery for donating the trees we use today in our demonstration. If you'd like to learn more about this topic or other stewardship topics, please visit our website, gatrees.org. That's all we have today. We hope you enjoyed today's episode.